astronomers seem to have made a fatal mistake. Asteroid Apophis will still crash and impact Earth. Astronomers did not consider its deviation due to collisions and the planet's gravity. The asteroid Apophis, comparable in size to a cruise ship, is set to approach Earth Friday, April 13, 2029, so that's only five years away. Its potentially hazardous trajectory has been monitored for two decades. Initially, Apophis caused significant alarm, but astronomers reassured the public by calculating its orbit, projecting it to pass within 32,000 kilometers of Earth's center. But astronomer Paul Weigert has raised concerns that a critical oversight has been made. The potential for Apophis to be altered by collisions with smaller asteroids and space debris was not considered. Well, they can't take everything into account, you know. They don't know what's really out there. But the asteroid Apophis compared in size to the Eiffel Tower could impact Earth with a force equivalent to multiple nuclear bombs. But if it misses, it may orbit back, drawn by Earth's gravitational pull. In such a case, it would likely collide with Earth seven years following its initial, impact, uh, initial approach. Paul Weygart studies published in the Planetary Science Journal highlights three. Now this is this was just published two days ago. It highlights three critical aspects concerning the trajectory of asteroid Apophis. The first point is that due to the Sun's position, astronomers are unable to track the object's trajectory from 2021 to 27. That's because the big uh, telescopes cannot face the Sun because the Sun would uh, basically fry their, their uh, instruments. So, uh, consequently, when humanity is able to observe Apophis, there will be very little limited time frame to make a decision. The second issue is that prior calculations of the asteroid's trajectory failed to consider changes resulting from collisions with smaller space objects, including debris, along Apophis Pass. Paul Weigert has determined that an asteroid expects to pass 32,000 kilometers from Earth requires only a minimal impulse to alter its course and potentially collide with our planet. This assertion is based on data from NASA's mission on September 27, 2022, which involved sending a probe to bombard the asteroid Dimorphos to ascertain if a minor impact could significantly alter a celestial body's orbit. The findings confirmed this possibility, but these findings had not been applied to Apophis until Paul Wager's recent calculations. The third issue is that even if the asteroid does not collide with Earth, our planet's gravitational field will still influence it. Consequently, the asteroid won't be propelled into outer space. Instead, it will be redirected for another approach, which is almost certain to result in an impact with Earth in April 2036. Statistics indicate that an asteroid of this size, if, if this size strikes Earth approximately once every 80,000 years, while this is significantly smaller than the asteroid that led to the extinction of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, which was about 10 kilometers in diameter, the impact would nonetheless be catastrophic for the world. If it strikes a city, the resulting crater would be approximately a kilometer wide, and the energy released would be equivalent to that of multiple strategic nuclear warheads. Should it impact the ocean, a catastrophic tsunami would ensue, devastating coastal areas. Even disturbances in the desert can be hazardous, atmospheric dust, alterations in the ionosphere, and disruptions in the planet's electromagnetic field can cause significant issues for agriculture, navigation, and the functioning of electrical devices. It seems that the scenario from the movie Armageddon starring Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck is becoming a reality. In the film, a nuclear charge is placed on the asteroid hurtling towards Earth to alter its course through an explosion. And this is on Solask. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I highly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. 
You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.